Hello everybody and welcome back to ASFC Chemistry. This is just a short video where we're going to look at all the different structural and stereo isomers of C5H10. This is relevant to module 4 of your specification when looking at alkanes and alkenes. Let's get started. Hello everybody and in this video I'm going to talk about all the possible isomers that we have of C5H10. So we're going to start with the structural isomers and we're going to start with the obvious. I feel like the obvious for C5H10 is that we're going to have an alkene here. So for example here, and I'm going to use skeletal throughout this, if you're not too confident with skeletal yet, then I recommend you uh, check the cards on this video. So click the little eye at the top right of the screen right now, and you'll be taken through to a video that shows you how to draw from displayed into skeletal, and that might help build your confidence a little. So I'm gonna use skeletal, and we can see here, what I've done is I've put the double bond at the end here, so I've got pentwonine. So I feel like pentwonine is the go-to obvious example of a structure of C5H10. Everything else we now do here on the left is gonna be an adaptation of this. Now, the first option I can do to change to a different structural isomer is I can move the double bond up the chain a little bit. And so here, I can move the double bond up to give me pentuene. That's as far as I'm really gonna be able to take it though, because pentuene is just pentuene, but drawn the wrong way around. What I can then start doing though is branching what I currently have. So these are straight chains, but now I'm gonna introduce some branched options. So we can see here that I've got a four carbon chain this time. And I'm gonna put the double bond at the start again, just here, but I'm gonna move this end of the chain into being a branch just here. So this time I've got one, two, three, four. I've got a four carbon chain. So I've got three methyl but one in. I could also move that branch over just a little bit more. And it gives me another option here which is 2-methyl-butone. This one can get branched a little bit as well, but only the once. And what I end up with here is 2-methyl-butone. So these are my five alkene isomer options for C5H10. I've got two straight chains and three branched. Now all of them, are unsaturated. And it's worth pointing out that they're all aliphatic as well. Now, an alternative functional group to consider would be instead of having a double bond, if I had something like this, which is cyclopentane, notice that there's no double bond anymore at all, but it would still have the formula C5H10. So this is an example of a structural isomer as, as well, but it's also got a completely different functional group, so its reactivity is totally different. I can then start playing about with this structure as well, as long as I don't start randomly introducing double bonds. And how I can mess about with this is I can create a four carbon ring with a branch. So that would be methyl cyclobutane, or I can do a three carbon cyclic with a longer branch, and that would be ethyl cyclopropane. And then I can split this longer branch up into some other sections just here, so I can put two methyls on. So that would be 1,1 dimethyl cyclopropane. And down here, I could also put those two methyls onto different carbons, and so that would give me 1,2 dimethyl cyclopropane. They are all structural isomers of that formulae. Now here, one of the differences in contrast is that these are all saturated. We could also say that these four, so looking at the ones with the branches, are all, well, branched, similar to these three here. So my only non-branched examples on the screen right now are my two originals over here and this cyclopentane. I can describe everything currently on the screen as aliphatic, 
but I can only describe these as alicyclic. So this is where they can go with the exam question. This, for instance, is a branched, unsaturated, aliphatic structure. This one here is a cyclic, aliphatic, saturated structure. So you can see where they can really play with the language on this one. Now you'll notice at the top of the screen, I actually did say isomers instead of structural isomers here. And that's because I've got one important thing to talk about. This. The pentuene. The pentuene on the screen now that I've just highlighted is the only example in this entire selection that shows EZ and cis-trans isomerism. And in fact, remember these are types of stereoisomerism, whereas everything else we've looked at is structural isomerism. To find out more about stereoisomerism, click the eye at the top of the screen right now to be taken to a video that outlines examples of EZ and cis-trans stereoisomerism, or click the links on screen at the end of this video. I hope that you got all of these isomers of C5H10 as well. And I hope that you follow this up by looking at the differences between cis-trans and EZ isomerism and maybe understanding why that the pentuene here is the only one on the page that has that. That's all we've got time for in this video, but click the links on screen now to be taken to other videos relating to alkenes and alkanes from Module 4 in Organic Chemistry. Happy revising!